Have you heard of people who eat pellets of drugs like cocaine and heroin or shove the packets of drug up their asses or vaginas to smuggle them across the border? This is a very common way of smuggling drugs and believe it or not there is a topic in medical textbooks to treat these people because oftentimes they come to the hospital with different problems like perforation, obstruction or the packets opening in their body so we have to be prepared to treat these dumbasses. <laughs> Hello people, welcome to Chatter Docs. I'm Dr. Tor and I'm an internal medicine physician. On my show I talk about so many things related to medicine and health and I believe learning about health does not have to be boring. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification so you'll never miss anything from my valuable content. There's a lot of crazy stories and news about drug smugglers who shove the packets or pellets of drugs into their rectums or vaginas or eat them to smuggle them across the borders. This is called body packing and these people are called body packers or drug mules. Although that not all these people are necessarily evil and some of them are doing it out of desperation or real need like this guy who was body packing to pay off his student loans. But I do believe if you eat a fatal dose of a drug and risk your life for any amount of money, you are stupid. They usually put drugs with high street values like cocaine and heroin inside a plastic water resistant packet, things like condoms or latex gloves and then tighten it fast and eat the packets so those packets will go into their stomach. So when they're crossing through the security checkpoints it's very hard for the security agents to discover them. Although that sometimes the security dogs can sniff them and catch these people but usually they can easily cross the border without getting caught and that's why this is a very common way of smuggling drugs. And sometimes they can carry a huge amount of drugs inside their body for a big money value. Like this guy from Bronx who body packed over 1400 packets of heroin which worth more than $25,000. After eating the packets they usually take drugs to decrease the motility of the GI tract like the anti-diarrheal medication or the drugs that can cause constipation. Then when they cross the border they take agents to give them diarrhea and then poop out the packets and give it to their bosses. Seems pretty easy and sweet huh? But a lot of things can go wrong in between. Most commonly these packets can get ruptured and perforated inside the stomach. The stomach acid can eat into the plastic and tear them open. Now these packets contain supra lethal doses of heroin or cocaine. So what happens next? You guessed it. If a packet of cocaine is opened inside the body packer's body, they will get a huge overdose reaction from cocaine. Cocaine will cause vasoconstriction or narrowing of the vessels inside the stomach. So they will start having stomach pain and contractions and cramps. Then it will absorb into the blood vessels and go around the body. It will go into the brain and will cause altered mental status and confusion, psychosis, hallucinations and craziness. It will activate the sympathetic nervous system inside the body which will increase the heart rate, blood pressure and body temperature. Sometimes it can cause intractable seizures and eventually death. Now if there is heroin inside the packet it will depress the respiratory rate and the guy will technically stop breathing and then it can cause coma and death. So it needs emergent medical attention which can include imaging of their body with x-ray or CAT scans to find out where the packing is, sometimes irrigating and washing the stomach and oftentimes they need to go to the OR to cut their stomachs open and find out and remove those packets. If they don't get medical help quick enough they can easily die. And since sometimes it can happen up in the air on the airplane and there's no OR available and also the doctors on board usually pretend not to hear the captain asking for a doctor, the ending is usually grim. Do you remember the scene from Pulp Fiction where the lady overdosed on heroin, she went into respiratory suppression and coma and then that guy injected an epinephrine shot right into her heart and then she woke up and started going crazy. Well usually it's not that dramatic but that is very real and can happen. A quick useful point, when people have narcotic dependency problems or are on big doses of opioids that are prescribed to them, they should have naloxone handy. Naloxone is a drug that can be inhaled into the nose and it quickly can reverse the effects of the opioids, most important of which is respiratory suppression, 
So if someone has overdosed on opioids and they cannot breathe, if you give them that inhaler inside their nose, they can be revived easily and you can save their lives. What are the other problems that can happen to body packers? Since these packets are big enough and are not ingested, hopefully, they can easily obstruct the GI tract. So they can make a blockage inside the bowels, which will also sometimes need surgery. In some cases, it can lead to perforation or tearing up the bowel walls, which again is life-threatening and needs operation. I remember many years ago we had a patient who came to the ER because the packets would not come out after two, three days and he was constipated. So we immediately thought it's a obstruction, so let's get the surgeons on board. We gave him some laxatives first, but it didn't help, so we got ready to take him to the OR. But right when we rolled him to the OR, he had a big dump with all the packets, and then he was begging and threatening us to give him all the packets because his bosses will kill him. So by medical code, we couldn't turn him in. So we gave him all the poop covered packets and he left happily. There's also another term called body stuffing, which is kind of similar to body packing. These are people who are about to get apprehended by the police and they eat whatever they have or shove it up their asses or vaginas, which is usually a much smaller dose than the body packers, but because it's not usually well secured or wrapped, they have a huge risk of overdose and they have to be seen in the emergency department as well. Thanks for watching this episode. If you also know any crazy stories about body packers or body stuffers, let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this episode, don't forget to smash that like button. And as always, take it easy. We're all gonna die someday.